Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to World of Tanks. It's Jaeger 262, and this is it. Look how fast it's selling. It is the Falk 155, and I am so upset. I have 5 million credits too short to buy it, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell. I don't even think I have 5 million credits worth of premium tanks left, and this thing is selling so fast. Now, I actually had this spoiled for me from one of the people who watches my YouTube channel, uh, Beto Albert, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, he, I guess, I can't remember what server he's on, but he's been giving me tips here and there about things that are happening, I think he's either on the RU server or the Asian server, I can't remember, and he's the one who alerted me to this, he told me he already got one, and so congratulations, Albert, on that, I'm so happy, he's been wanting one for three years, so I'm very excited for him, but yeah, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get one, and I'm so, so, so upset. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, about the Falk. It was the original French tier 10 tank destroyer. It's an auto loading vehicle that does about 750 per shot um, with an average penetration of 203, 293, not 203. <laughs> I was going to say 300 because that's what I remember, but it looks like it's a little less than that, so that's why I tripped over my words there. But it is a monster. Its DPM is only about 2300 a minute. Don't let that fool you, this thing was quite overpowered before it was replaced. I believe it fired... Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Rate of fire is three rounds a minute. It can't be right. It has a clip, but I guess they're doing it by an auto-loading mechanism, much like the Italian tanks now. So it's not just a straight-up clip, so that's interesting. That's interesting, it looked like this changed. It's a 47 second reload for each clip, a 5 second for clip reload for 3 rounds. Hmm. That's unique. I guess it's not a straight up clip like it used to be. So before the Italian tanks came with auto loaders, you would just load up a full clip like you do on French light tanks and you just fire all your rounds and then you would take, in this case, 47 seconds to reload all of them, but that's not what it looks like is happening. So that'll be interesting. If if anybody does have this, I know Albert, you have one. Let me know how that reload mechanic changed. If it really did change from just reading this wrong, uh, I'd really like to know. Now it has a hundred, uh, 180, I almost said 1800 because I'm looking at the total hit points. 1800 hit points, but only 180 millimeters of armor on the front. And that's actually amazingly thick when you consider that this lower plate is almost impossible to hit. Especially with the 6 degrees of gun depression, you can pretty much keep your tank like this, and no one's going to actually end up penetrating you here, even at your time. They're going to be shooting mostly right here, and at this periscope. Uh, though, I don't think the periscope actually takes any damage, I think it's just this part. I could be wrong, so again, Albert or anybody else who has one, please let me know. Now, once you get to the sides, it's completely flat front, or on the sides and in the rear, so don't get flanked. But if you just keep it straight down the front like this and you keep it hull down like that, you're going to be basically impenetrable. So I really wish, yeah right here, I don't have the 25 million, I'm so upset, I really really wanted a tier 10 tank to out of this and there's only 700 left. I missed the Death Star, it looks like I'm going to miss the Falk. Very very upset, very upset, but at the same time really excited because I really wanted to see this vehicle and just knowing that you guys, or at least one of my my viewers, is getting it or has gotten one. You guys have the opportunity to get it. Also makes me excited. Very happy for you. I know another one of my viewers I was talking to doesn't have any tier 10s besides the Death Star now. So I hope he also picks this up so he can have two tier 10s. It looks like I'm going to miss out on tier 10s for now. But I'll make some credits and hopefully they'll do a black market event in the future that I'll be able to make up for all the vehicles I lost this time around. But really, really cool just to see this one. I didn't know the Death Star was coming. That was a huge surprise. And this one, while not a surprise, it's just as cool to see back in the game. Um, just like Albert said when he was talking to me about it, wanting it for three years, this was removed again for being too OP. It was removed about three or four years ago. The Death Star's been gone for, I think, two years now. No, that's not right. I think I have that flipped. The Death Star's been gone for three years. This one's been gone for two years. I can't remember. But they've been removed for quite a bit. And so a lot of players, especially if you're not playing at top tier, might have forgotten that these vehicles 
what they could do if you've been grinding or if you're new to the game you never knew they existed so it's just a really cool opportunity to get a really unique and really amazing tier 10 i mean the thing is absolutely gorgeous in terms of a tank destroyer and it's just it's a part of like the death star not world of tanks history but like this whole it has a deep history in world of tanks because the french tank destroyer line you really struggle until you get till about tier 8 and just gets better from there and the Falk 155 was a complete surprise for a lot of players when it first entered the game because it was just incredibly good it's a great tank destroyer for so excuse me for everybody who's getting one good purchase very fun very cool I wish I could have gotten one I should have saved more credits from the other tanks I was trying to grind I actually started with 18 million so I was able to make 2 million credits back in two days but even with a million a day I'd still need five more days before I could even afford this so looks like I'm gonna miss it but still it's just a really cool tank destroyer I hope you guys enjoy it please let me know talk to me about it Albert I will respond to your comments and I'll be asking you a lot of questions <laughs> about this vehicle so I hope you watch this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up as always, please subscribe to the channel if you want to support me or if you want to see the other black market videos I'll be making. Maybe I'll pick up another vehicle, but I doubt it. Hopefully there will be another cheaper vehicle waiting for me tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the last day. I believe it's the last day tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to remember if this is the seventh day of tomorrow. Is. If not, I'll make a video anyway tomorrow to let you know it's the end of the event. Just go over all the tanks that I did end up buying and give you the list of reviews that I'll be doing because there's a couple more premium vehicles I'm looking at getting that aren't part of the black market event that I will be reviewing but stay tuned if you want to stay tuned for that I should say please subscribe thank you so much for the support thank you so much for watching and as always see you next time